Hi, thanks for joining me on this sales tips. My name is Maveen Cora. I am from discoveryourlifetoday.com. Today we'll be talking about 50 proven sales tips that you can use to convert more clients into sales and make more money. All right, get yourself a piece of paper and a pen and pause this video anytime you need to to take some notes. Let's get started. Sales tip number 50, review your current sales process. Sales tip number 49, know the habits of successful people. Sales tip number 48, get the client to say yes many times during your sales presentation. Sales tip number 47, a planned presentation is important compared to a presentation that has no plan on where you're gonna be taking that presentation. Sales tip number 46, follow up with open-ended questions to find out more information uh, about your client or the client's needs. Sales tip number 45, if you don't know the answer, find it, don't make it up. Sales tip number 44, Remember, some objections that the client gives you, they're just smoke screens. Sales tip number 43. During the presentation, your goal is not to close the sale, rather to find objections to answer that the client may have. Sales tip number 42. Make the sales presentation about the client and not a number that the client is not. Sales tip number 41. Find out who you're up against and then find out ways that you can be better than your client or that you are better than your client or the other salesperson. Sales tip number 40. If your customer is coming back for a second time, then you need to be prepared for this as you know when they've come back for a second time, that means most likely they are pretty interested in going forward with the sale and they just may need some more questions answered uh, just to clarify some information that they may not have. Sales tip number 39, get the prospects to tell you more about themselves as well about their needs and pain points and then you can sell to those needs and pain points. Sales tip number 38, don't react to the customer's answers, ask another question if you need to. Sales tip number 37, paint a picture of how the product or service that you'll be selling to the customer will meet their needs. Sales tip number 36, know uh, the customer uh, very well and keep the customer and the conversation uh, on the sales process. Number 35, handling price objections uh, on big ticket items is important up front. So if you're selling a home or a car, you know, talk about price uh, if you need to right away, but don't forget to sell value. Uh, you know, smaller ticket items such as phones, uh, people typically know that, you know, phones are gonna be somewhere between three and $600 compared to a car or a home that's anywhere between 30 and 600 or more thousand dollars. Sales tip number 34, control the expectations your customer has about your product or service. Sales tip number 33, at what pace are you selling at? Your pace or your customer's pace? Something to consider. Sales tip number 32, use emotional statements and then back them up with logical statements. Sales tip number 31, don't say if, but use the word when. This shows that you know that you are very confident that the customer will move forward in the sales process sometime, uh, and that means you can keep them in your sales funnel a little bit longer and follow up uh, during that uh, conversation with them. You know, month after month with email or phone calls, and have them come back in and potentially buy your product uh, again, depending on what that product is. Sales tip number thirty: Show them what they get, and then do not. Tell them the price until you've built enough value in that product or service. Sales tip number 29. Customers shop uh, by the process of elimination, so help your customer eliminate your competition as one of the choices that they're looking to make. Sales tip number 28. When reaching out to prospects, offer value in so, uh, through social media, through marketing material, or even through your email and phone calls. Sales tip number 27. If price is an objection uh, to closing the sale, then potentially you haven't offered enough value on why the customer should be paying that kind of price for your product or service. Sales tip number 26. Take care of the small details that your customer may not be considering. You are the sales professional. Sales tip number 25. Build a relationship with your customer after the sale. Sales tip number 24. Do not give out pricing. Instead, offer uh, to give the pricing in your office, at your office desk, where you can handle additional objections that may come up, uh, and that way you can also help that customer move through the sales funnel as well. 
Sales tip number 23. Use the feel, felt, found method. This is a great way to show your client uh, an empathy uh, during the sales process. Sales tip number 22. When selling a product or service, talk about the features that will help solve the customer's problems and then show them how it'll actually benefit them in the long run as well. Sales tip number 21. When you are confirming what the customer has said, uh, use a chunking technique. This is to, you know, maybe take everything they've said and summarize it into one point, uh, close on that point, and then you can typically move forward on that as well. Sales tip number 20. Even if you are an employee of a, co of a company, make sure you're running your work desk or your workspace as if you're running your own business because one day you may go into sales and start your own business and that's a great way, place to learn as well. Sales tip number 19. Don't point to the product or service that the customer is asking about. Uh, walk them over to that uh, product uh, or service and then ask them an open-ended question uh, to continue that conversation or start a conversation so you have a better chance of uh, adding them to your sales funnel and then of course closing the sale as you go through your presentation. Sales tip number 18. During the sales process, re reinstate uh, what the customer has said and then close that part of the conversation by getting them uh, to say yes, that they agree and that that uh, product does make sense for them to move forward uh, on. Sales tip number 17. Connect my customer uh, to their communication style. Don't connect my customer to my communication style. So that means, you know, the customers have typically four uh, different communication styles. Figure out what communication style your customer is and then talk to that customer uh, <clears throat> in that way or manner. Sales tip number 16. Use the statement, I have sold blank to people in your situation. Let me help you the same way I was able to help them. Say that confidently. People like to know that uh, they're buying something other people have also bought and benefited from. Sales tip number 15. Use the customer's hot buttons to overcome their objections. Sales tip number 14. Learn how to close uh, more sales uh, and by using closing techniques and different closing techniques um, at every stage of your sales presentation. Sales tip number 13. Focus on doing the basics better than anyone else. Sales tip number 12. Stick to the basics in your sales presentation. Don't try to outdo somebody else. Don't try to outdo another sales agent. Be the best that you can be and go out and uh, wow the customer um, in that. Sales tip number 11. Ask good questions and do not tell them what you want them to know. Rather, tell them what they need to know. Sales tip number 10. Getting sales is an attitude, it's not a chance. Sales tip number nine. Whenever possible, close the sale at your office desk um, the same way as if you're going to be offering pricing. You do that at your office desk whenever possible. Sales tip number eight. What does the prospect need to know versus what you want them to know? Think about that. Sales tip number seven. How do you greet the customer when they first come into your uh, works, workplace or office or uh, retail space? That's going to be important. Sales tip number six, be willing to help customers in other ways people are not willing to help them. Sales tip number five, look for customer objections. When you can find those objections and answer those objections better than anyone else, you move yourself and the customer along in the sales process and guarantee yourself that you'll probably be able to close the sale a lot better than the person who's not able to answer and uh, those objections. Sales tip number four, learn how to frame your questions so the questions are uh, framed to the the four different communication styles. Uh, each one of those people will like to be asked a question a certain way. Uh, if you want some more information on this, you can definitely find out communication styles uh, by searching the internet. Sales tip number three. How can I better relate with the customer is a question that you should ask yourself. Again, this comes down to being a chameleon or being the chameleon when you are uh, looking at different personality styles. It's just being able to communicate with all types of people. Sales tip number two, how do I want to impact my customer? So maybe think about that because that uh, not only builds trust in yourself but also rapport when you're moving forward in the sales process.
And tip number one or tip number 50 in this case, uh, do you know your role as a sales professional? If you do not know what your role is, uh, I definitely ask you to go through all of these 50 points again and really uh, understand these questions that you need to ask yourself or the customer in order to be a better salesperson. Awesome. Thank you for joining me for the 50 um, sales tips that will help you increase um, sales as well as convert clients and make more money uh, in the process. Uh, definitely give these 50 um, tips a listen to again. There are quite a bit of them. There are different situations that you would want to use a lot of these different tips. Uh, what I would suggest is maybe revisit this once a week and until you have gotten uh, your sales presentation and these questions and the information in here uh, down to a science for yourself. Uh, thank you so much and don't forget to visit discoveryourlifetoday.com for more articles on sales presentations. Uh, we also do different articles on health, business, finance, uh, meditation, uh, you name it. I'm pretty much writing about it or talking about it because I do want people to uh, be able to better their lives in many different uh, aspects. Thank you so much.